Today is the kickoff to Sarah Wells and the Believe Summit. We are here today to share some real life examples of what it means to believe in yourself. It was next level. The energy of the kids and the music and the leaders. It is a day for students to be inspired and motivated and really foster belief in themselves. It's not about figuring out your five-year plan. It's not about figuring out how to pick a career, what you're gonna be when you grow up. Instead, it's gonna be about finding what your passions are. What are the things you like to do now? And then having the courage to believe in yourself to go after those big things. It's all about exploring a passion, really. And then we're actually gonna take those passions, commit to a project by the end of today, and for the next four weeks, they'll build that out and try to create an impact in their communities with it. These kids are in a pivotal time in their life. A lot of uncertainty, a lot of changes. I think a lot of people have self-doubt, and I think it's something that a lot of people need to overcome. As a mental health advocate, this day instills belief, instills purpose, instills passion in young people. It's scary to go after a big goal. It is frightening. By saying your goals out loud, you can start to commit yourself to those goals. It's a way to get the kids started about thinking how they believe in themselves. I remember the, the pressures of school and peer pressure. We want to help people lean into their strengths, lean into their passions, instead of trying to do what their friends do, and instead really allow to foster these like individuals who have different strengths. We need creative thinkers. We need people who are going to challenge us, think differently. And so you are definitely of value. You definitely are going to be able to add to society. Today was an inspiration. Every kid in our room got up and participated. We're learning about how to self-empower and believe in ourselves and accomplish goals. So what if we all believed we could? We had no ceiling. Nothing was holding us back. What if we all believed we could? Every student today is receiving the red belief bracelet with a unique number code on it and they will enter that code, they will share online what they've done, and then they pass the bracelet on. So we can track these bracelets and how they've made a difference to see where the project goes from there. And so today, I want you guys to start by just believing in you. That's it, that's the big task. Just believe in you, and I bet the ripple effect in your classrooms, in your school, in your communities, in this country will be incredible. Because together, if we're all believing in ourselves, if we're all believing in each other so much more, incredible things are going to happen. What Sarah has done here with the Belief Initiative, it is actually impacting these kids and that's powerful. I can't stress how important this program is. One of the biggest things in education right now is that growth mindset. It's empowering our new generation. It's empowering our future. I believe in me. 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 I believe in me.